today it's revolved around e.l.f. or Eyes Lips Face and I am a huge lover of the brand e.l.f. because it's cheap and most of the products are great and I probably when I first started to plan this video, 90% of my products were best products and only like 10% were worst. So I had to take away some of the best products to kind of even everything out. So there are so, so many more products that I would love to include as the best. Um, but because there wasn't too many for the worst, I've tried to even it out and also a lot of the products I don't like I do just throw away because they are so cheap and there's just no point in keeping them um, But some of them I have kept because I foresee, no, I foresaw that I would do this video However, I did throw away my foundation because it was horrendous but that would for sure be in this video and I just hate the foundation, it was so orange and gloopy and etc etc. I'm forever doing elf hauls so if you want to go and check some of those out I will leave the most recent one down below because if I listed every single one that would take a long time. There is a spider. Okay today is very hot and sunny. I was gonna say sot, a little combination. It's very hot and sunny and my window is wide open so things can just crawl in and join me. Um, but uh, I'm going to go and sort that out. So I'm going to start with the worst product so that we can end this video on a good note rather than a bad one. Um, but I don't want to butcher Elf because I do love the brand altogether. Um, but there are just some products that I just don't get on with. So I'm going to start with those. And as I said, again, there would be more, but I tend to throw them away, especially the foundation. And another thing, my worst products may be your best products so just keep in mind that this is my opinion but hopefully if you are thinking of buying something maybe I could help you out a little bit and change your mind. So first off in the worst section is the um, eyelid primer which looks like this and I just did not get on with this. I don't tend to wear um, eyeshadow too much anyway but when I did it just did not make a difference whatsoever. Um, just looks like this but it really made no difference I might as well have not worn it there's not much else to say about this one but I just really do not recommend this because it just didn't make a difference whatsoever so the next two items I'm going to do together because I bought them for the same purpose however they both didn't do what I wanted them to do I bought them both for my tear duct the inner corner of silverness um, and the first one is the liquid eyeshadow and this is in cream dream um, and at first when you look at it and you put it on your hand for example it looks like it will be quite good uh, I have to learn when to do my swatches um, but when you rub it in it kind of completely disappears okay it's kind of showing up here but in real life it just completely disappears so I've just rearranged myself so I hope everything's still okay and the lighting's still okay. Next I have a nail varnish and the majority of the nail varnishes I absolutely love. However this one we just, I just didn't get on with. Um, and this is the nail varnish in clear and it acts as a base and top coat. But the smell is just horrendous. You apply it and you're like, oh wow, it just does not smell so good. And also it takes so, so long to dry. And obviously when you do your nails, you want it to be done as quick as possible and it just takes forever to dry. So uh, this is in my worst category. Next I have the press powder and it just looks like this. And I bought this to kind of take around with me in my bag for sixth form or just travel and things. And this one is in the shade Ivory and just like the foundation, I find it really turned my skin orange and just thick and it just adds lots of thickness to your face and you really do not want that um, and it just it just turned my face orange basically. Next I have two eye products and the first one is the waterproof eyeliner pen and you just use it to create a wing eye um, but this one is just, I don't know, oh, let me show you. The nib just bent the first time I used it and it's very flimsy. I don't know if you could see that. And when you use it, it just scratches across your eye and just drags the eyelid and doesn't create the perfect winged eyeliner effect, which you would want. And um, so that's why I don't like that one. And then the last product I do not like that I actually still have is the waterproof lengthening and volumizing mascara. It just looks like this. So in my opinion with this product, all it did was simply just add 
a little bit of thickness and just product your eyelashes. It didn't lengthen them or volumize them too much. It just looked like you'd put product on the eyelashes, if that makes sense. Which for me anyway isn't what you really want in a mascara, so I don't feel that does its name to justice. It does justice to its name. There you go. Stop, I have another product that I do not like and it is the, I hate butchering products, I really do not like this, um, but it's the Mineral Moisturising Lip Tint, which looks like this, and it says it's in the colour pink, and it looks like this, but Swatcheroo need, and to be honest this is a lot of this, it looks like this, and to me this looks peach, so the name's wrong, <laughs> and also it's not so good just on the lips it's not great at all and I know it's a lip tint and I know it's not supposed to come out so good but I just really do not like this and I literally love all of the rest of Elf's lip products so I was really disappointed in this and just just not happy really oh <laughs> oh goodness anyway it deserved to be thrown okay so now I'm going to move on to my best products and as I said at the beginning there are so many more products that I would love to include here but I wanted to kind of balance it out and make it a bit more 50 50 than 90 10 and um, so I've kind of selected the best in my opinion the creme de la creme as it were so I will just crack onto those and there's not much to say about them really other than I love them so I don't want to repeat myself too much so that's why I will do it quickly this is kind of representing one item uh, or one product and it is the brushes I actually these are all my elf brushes I think um, and I absolutely love the e.l.f. brushes, um, all the normal line, the £1.50 ones, and the other lines. I all think they're completely worth it. And if you're like me and had never used brushes before, I know how bad that sounds, but we can move on. Um, then these are just a great thing to start with because they're so cheap and they do the job really well, in my opinion. And next, moving on to sort of another tool. I believe that all of the tools that e.l.f. do are so good. And for the price as well, it's just amazing. And I'm going to show you two of my favourite tools and the first one are the tweezers I just think they're so good they're one of the best tweezers I've come across and for £1.50 you cannot really go wrong and then the other um, tool that I absolutely love are the eyelash curlers again they're really sturdy and they're just I think they're better like I'm going to go as far as saying they're better or as good as my long come ones so pretty good. Next product that I absolutely love is the mascara primer and it just looks like this and the same as the other mascara however this one is white and may look a little bit oh, I don't want to have white eyelashes but it's all good and I got a lot of questions asking is it worth it and I think it's only £3.50 so of course it's worth it but um and does it actually make a difference and will it mix with my black or brown mascara to form a grey or a lightish brownish colour no it does not and it is amazing it really lengthens the lashes and improves them greatly and it does not make your eyelashes go grey at all I'll try and show you oh this is kind of a scary so we'll just back up this is one of my all-time favorite elf products so I just I love you what does creme de la creme even mean I just realized I said it and I don't really know what it means but yeah um, next one of my all-time favourite elf products, there's a hair in my mouth, every time I'm talking I get hair in my mouth. <sighs> one of my all-time favourite elf products is the Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara, which looks like this. And I set my eyebrows with this, you fill in your eyebrows and then you just set it. I don't use the um, eyelash one because I use the eyelash primer because one side is eyelashes and one side is eyebrows though they are exactly there's a fly now in my bedroom it does the job perfectly and I highly recommend this £1.50 is just an amazing product and one of my favorites next I have three products but they are all representing the same thing and they are the lip products and they are the £1.50 lipsticks the £3.50 lipsticks and the Studio Matte Lip Colours. I love them all, they are so amazing for the price, just unreal and also it's great because if you don't like the colour you haven't wasted about £12 like some other lipsticks are, they're only £1.50 or £3.50 so it's just amazing and I just absolutely love the lipsticks, I literally wear one of them every single day or every other day, I don't know but they're just such a great thing to buy. Next another favourite is the Elf Sit Zapper and like everybody, like the fact of life, you get spots slash pimples. I don't get spots 
spots. I'm lucky to have quite good skin, um, but I do get the odd pimple here and there. And when I do, this baby comes in handy. I had a corker the other day that you could compare to Venus, possibly. Um, so I just whacked this on and it was gone about two hours later. So I really recommend this. Next is a product that I've only recently started using. However, it's become one of my holy grail products and I absolutely adore it and it's just amazing. And it's the mist, okay, I still can't remember. It's the makeup mist and set and you apply all your makeup and then hold this like this and spray it on your face. And at first you think, oh my gosh, why did I do that? My face is now wet. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. I've got to go out in five minutes and my face is wet. But no, no, just, just calm down a little bit. Just calm down and it will dry. It will dry after about 30 seconds to a minute and then your face will just stay on and in these summer days it will not just melt off. Okay, I have three more products to show and this one represents all nail varnishes except the base and top coat because it just stinks. Um, and I just love all the nail varnishes. The colours are amazing and they don't chip and they stay on and just love them really for £1.50 as well. Last but not least I have the concealer and this was the first ever concealer I have. This, this very concealer broke my concealer virginity and it's great. I love it. £1.50, it's perfect match, it's not orange like the other products um, and it's just great for concealing dark circles, it's full coverage or medium to full coverage I'd say. I think it's perfect for travelling or just taking around with you um, if you want to but because it's only £1.50 it wouldn't be too big a deal if you lost it or anything so I think travelling around would be great for this um, but it's just an amazing product. I need to think of some new adjectives people. <sighs> So that was my Elf Best and Worst video. I hope it helped and you enjoyed it. I hope you did. I think I was just rambly because I am so hot right now. You try, okay, you might have long hair, but you try having thick and long hair. It's a hard life. Um, but yeah, I have a very messy floor now. But I just love Elf. There are so many more products that I would have loved to include in this video without making it mammoth long. So I really recommend it as a brand. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll reply to as many of you as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>